Welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. As you can see, I have built up the skeleton of the base, and I put some windmills uh, or wind turbines on top. So up here we will have wind generation, and we will have turrets on the top here as well, and maybe some other stuff I don't know yet. Down here on the upper level we will have living quarters quite large living quarters I think and down here on the second level we will have storage so large storage containers and hydro tanks oxygen tanks stuff like that and down here we will have all our production so we need to start building up our production so I haven't built up the walls because I want to be able to fly in here and weld all this up with a welder. So that's why the walls are not in yet and everything has not been built up because we're going to build a welding ship to do that. But first we need at least a refinery, not a basic refinery, a regular refinery and I think a couple of assemblers. So we're going to do that. And let's see, have I put all that stuff on my hotbar? I think I have. I thought I had. I have not. Okay, but I think we can do it here. So the refinery is there, then we need assembler. There. We need the H2O2 generator. We need, uh, what else do we need? We need, uh, well, cargo. And we will need large cargo containers. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I did need to go and mine a bit by hand to get enough plates to make all of this because it was, uh, it was expensive in plates. I think I've used like 5,000 steel plates or something like that so far. So yeah, it's quite expensive and uh, these outer walls are really expensive because they will require metal grids as well. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a costly uh, building, but it is what it is and it's going to be built. So let's get started. So where did we put it here? So the first thing I want is a refinery. And I want that, I think, here. Yeah. And then we will put another one down as well. Maybe, uh, let's wait on that. Actually, no, we will put another one down. But we'll do so on the other side here. And let's leave two blocks in between for walking there. All right. And then we will have the wall of light armor blocks here. I don't have any steel, steel plates on me. Okay, never mind. We won't put that in yet. Uh, actually, I think I have some steel plate over here. Maybe uh, I do not. Oh, wait, I didn't actually hit it. I do. All right, so we have a few steel plates on us. Not that many though. Okay, so light armor block, where do I have that? I have one here. My armor block, and that is going in here. There'll be a wall here. Okay. Then we need assemblers. They will be going in here. Mm, I think I 
like that. And we're going to need two spaces in between. So like that. And then we will need because the uh, the modules for these, the ones that make them better, so use less power, be more efficient, speed up, and so on, they go on all sides. So we will need to have a four space gap in between. So something like that. And there will be modules on the sides here. Okay. Now that doesn't leave a lot of space, but we don't need a lot more space because we basically just need hydrogen and that's it. I think I want the food stuff up in the living area. So all we, we really need now is hydrogen, I guess, and well, hydrogen and uh, what's it called? Oxygen? Let's see, which way do we want facing out? This side. And this can actually I'm right up against it, I guess. We need to gonna we're gonna need a few of these. So let's just stick in four, five, six for now. Okay. So let's see what we need for to build these. We need steel plate, metal grids, and motors. We need a lot of steel plate. 1200 steel plate, metal grids, and motors. All right, so what, what do we have in our inventory right now? Everything but what we need. But right, let's stick in what we have in all of these. Okay, these need computers and displays. And what do you need? Our steel tubes and stuff. Okay. Well, the the refinery is really the most important thing. So we'll empty out our inventory here, all this stuff and fly back and get a bunch of steel plates. Uh, we could actually go and check out the signal on the way. It's quite close by. What's this thing flying up here? A supply transport. That shouldn't be a danger for us, I think. Okay. Let's see what you have. You have space credits, carrots, and cucumbers. Not very exciting, if I do say so. And see if we get a special item, we did a crocodile welder. I have no idea what we need that for, but well, it's just a skin, right? So it's just a fun little thing that we can. Decorate out our suit. So where's our uh, mini base? Over here somewhere. There it is. Maybe I should turn off all those GPSs. Alright. Let's see. Let's stick all this stuff in here that we don't need right now. So we're going to need to fill up on plates. And we should have some ready. Our assembler is producing a heck of a lot of stuff. Look at that. A couple of thousand new plates there. 
and the reason our assembler is producing a heck of a lot of stuff is I accidentally I put refine a refinery, a assembler, a H2O2 generator, and I think that's it into my production planner, and I accidentally asked the assembler to build out times 10 for each of them so it has quite a lot of stuff queued up and i can't be bothered to clear it out it's all stuff that we're going to need anyway eventually but it did run out of iron but never mind that i should have stocked up on energy while we were there we we're down to 68 percent but never mind pretty soon hopefully we will be able to do it over here Hey, all we actually need to put down is a seat, then we could do it here. Alright, let's build this up. That's enough steel plate. And then we just need some motors and some metal grids. And I am fairly certain that we have that in our little cargo vessel over here. Let's stick in some more steel plate there, as much as we can. We still need more. Okay. So we need some motors, and we need some... That wasn't a whole hell of a lot. We're gonna need more metal grid, I think. We might need some construction components as well. Uh, let's see... Oh, that's that was actually enough. So that is fully built. Cool. Let's stick in what we can here. And what we can here, we'll just stick in everything that we can, everywhere that we can. We're gonna need it anyway. So, yeah. All right. Now let's see. What do we need to build a seat? We could just stick in a seat here. Uh, what? Do we have a seat? On the hot bar somewhere no we'll just stick one in there a seat and a passenger seat so what do we need for that interior plate construction components and more interior plate and we don't have any interior plate terrific we have more interior plate over here we do and we have construction components. We're gonna go have to go back anyway, but to pick up some stuff. But for now, if we just build a seat, let's just say there. Oh, oh. I hate meteor storms. Now we can sit in the seat and get power. Where is this meteor storm coming from? I really hope that they don't hit my Base. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Oh, they're gonna miss. Good. I did in one of these meteor craters. I found some ore that I have never heard of in the game before. So I wonder if that's from a mod or something new or what it is. I don't remember if I brought it over to the base or what I did. I think I did. Well, let's bring this over to the other base as well. Okay, so we need a lot of steel plate. Oh, we have some steel plate here. Let's pick that up. And I don't remember what else we needed, so let's go take a look to build an assembler. We need some metal grids, which I do think we have. Over there. You need a lot of stuff, but you got all the steel plate that you needed. Well, that's good. Okay. You need a lot of stuff too. Alright, let's see if we don't have some metal grids over here. If not, we do have over in the other base. Uh, we do not. 
Let's just quickly fly over to the other base and pick up some stuff. Should we take the... I think we'll take our little ship here, actually. And say... Four. We take off. Should have enough power for a while. Well, a little while anyway. But uh, I want to fill it up with stuff. Uh, let's turn off the inertial dampeners. For now. And turn them on again. I don't want to bang into the mini base here. It's kind of our lifeline right now. Oh, we're going to hit the ground. Oh, that was close. That was close to hitting the ground. All right, let's... This thing is nimble. Not right now, anyway. Uh, we're up too high. Come on! We just had one. There we go. Uh, let's see. Lock you. Lock you. And... Turn you off. Turn you off. Uh, whoa! Well, that was close. There's one here. Well, that's more... This is more of the stuff that I was talking about that I've never seen in the game before, I think. Uh, where'd it go? There. Yeah, potassium ore. I have no idea what that is. And where's the other crater? Where's the base? The base is there, so there should be a crater over here somewhere. There. Anything interesting in here? Uh, not particularly, I think. Iron ore. Yay. Alright, let's head back to the mini base. We will stick this stuff in here. We'll fill up the hydrogen bottle. Get up again. And then we could stick a ton of stuff in here. So let's just do that. Well, this was in the connector, but never mind. It's fine getting it into a cargo container. Uh, we could stick a lot of this stuff in here. Actually, it's easier to just do this. And then pull one thing over here, and then the others will not go in there. Okay, we'll just pull it over. We're gonna need everything, so let's grab everything. Well, everything that we can. See, we don't have any of those in there yet. And we have a ton of steel plate. A ton. A lot of steel plate. A ton is a strong, strong word. Uh, and then we have all of these materials up here. Not the carrots right now. Uh, let's see, medium cargo container. Come on moving up there that's really annoying there uh, i also made 500 magazines mm -hmm. because i want to be prepared for getting attacked come on just grab the thing i click on instead of moving the whole inventory uh, let's bring the magazines over as well. Ooh, all these motors. More motors there. And more displays. More steel plate. Anything else? More power cells. And I think that's everything we need right now. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, let's or there we go. And let's get back in this thing. What happened? Okay. So let's see if we turn you off, you'll be fully recharged in zero seconds. I kind of don't believe that. New on, new on, and unlock. We'll just go. Whoa, that was close. I almost flew into the base there. We have fuel, well, power. We have 16 minutes. That'll be fine. By the time we need to re get some more power on this, we'll have the ability to do over here at the home base. Right, let's stop, stop, stop. Could actually just land in here now. Let's do that. This is the area that we're working on at the moment, so let's come down a bit and lock, turn it off. Well, no, not turn it off. I'll turn everything else off. And jump out. All right. So we are landed in our base. Very nice. So what did we need for this? We needed the metal grids and a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff. So metal grids, steel plate, computers, motors. So let's grab, let's say, 50 steel uh, metal grids, some motors, some large steel tubes, some interior plates, some construction components. We're not full yet. So, and some steel plate for the rest, I think. There we go. Let's get this built up. And get this built up. We need computers. And we need computers for this as well. So let's grab some computers if we have any. We do. And get this thing built. And get this thing built. Nope, not enough computers. We should have some more. We do. But don't have any more than that. That kind of sucks. Right? But we do have the refinery over here now. Now, we are going to need... I think I'll just use this. Uh, we're going to need conveyors. Uh, there is the large conveyor. There. Stick that in there. Then we will stick in... I think... For now, that's all I need to stick in, really. So this is everything. Now, there will be another refinery on top of this one, but for now, oops, we'll just come up this way. Oh, come on, don't fall down. Let's build it up if we can. Proprietary circuits, what the heck is that? Proprietary conveyor tube. Small steel tubes. Let's pick some of them up and see. Uh, oh, that was a lot. Oh, 
but I can't build it. Okay. So this is not what we want to build. I guess there are other conveyor tubes. I have never seen a proprietary conveyor tube before. Um, let's see. Uh, what am I looking for? I am looking for the G button. And just say conveyor. And I just want a large conveyor tube. Let's try sticking this down here, this down here. Oh. Let's try this and say G. Okay, this does not require, that does require some proprietary stuff. Okay, so there are just two different kinds. I wonder what the difference between the proprietary one and the regular one is. If anyone knows, I would love to hear. Oh, and if you have a suggestion for a name for our little ugly ship here, I, I would appreciate it. It's going to be a mining ship. So, yeah. Mining slash cargo ship is going to be its purpose. Let's fly up above here. And where do we have this thing there? And six. And in here I want well before I do that, I actually want to weld this up. And then I can build my conveyor junction in here. Okay. Then we'll go up top. I might as well, if I can, weld this up because it's going to make it easier to see. Okay, let's fly up here and cut a hole here. Well, actually, no, not cut a hole there yet. It's a heavy armor block. That's not what I want. Uh, all right. Just stick that in there for now, because we are going to need large cargo containers up here. Now, this is going to sit right there. So what do we need to build that up? We need construction components. Interior plate, motors, displays. Okay. See if we can get all that in here. So, construction components, interior plate, motors, and was it displays, I think? Just stick this organic in there. We don't need large steel tubes, I'm fairly certain. Probably some grids. Let's try this. We need more interior plate. Jesus. But we have everything else. So hopefully we have more interior plate as well. So we can get it done. And we do have a little bit. Oh, we have more there. But we can... Oh, we, we need some motors. Let's grab... Some of those. I think... This is it. All right. Okay, we have a large cargo container. And we have an H202 generator. We have two assemblers and a refinery. Beautiful. Let's weld these up while we're at it. Need more construction components. Okay. 
hopefully we have some of those. We do. Now we have quite a few. All right. So let's weld these up. Okay. And come up top here. Well, actually not up top, but over here. Oops. And where did we put the conveyor stuff? We put it on six here. And I just want a regular conveyor tube right there. Okay. Let's turn the the jetpack off while we don't need it. Conveyor junction there. And conveyor tube there. And a conver curved conveyor tube. Why won't you turn? There. Okay. We need more interior plate. Which we are out of. I am fairly certain. So that kind of sucks. We need more. Oh, we have some. Oh, we have quite a bit. But we are going to need to go mine some more iron. And I think I'll hand mine a bit of iron in between episodes and then uh, in the next one we will go and we'll build up our mining ship and go and do some mining we needed steel small steel tube right so let's grab 100 of those and we needed something else as well which I didn't notice what was. Maybe some computers. Uh, oh, it was motors, wasn't it? It was motors. Of course it was. Okay. All right. So now our refinery is connected to that cargo container. Which is great. And we then need to get it connected to our assemblers over here as the first priority. And the H2O2 generator. So we want all of these on the same conveyor network. But I think we are going to do that in the next episode, guys. I, I hope you're enjoying this series. If you have uh, suggestions, anything like that, I would love to hear them, like uh, how to build better ships, uh, how to build a better base, how to, what should we do, stuff like that. I'd love to hear all your suggestions, everything you can think of, and certainly a name for the little cargo ship over here. We'll be naming all our different ships somehow some way and I would like your help in finding some good names so thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time